first episode. What a fun ride. The main character is a terrible person. But everyone has these like superpowers. That's kind of useless in a way, right? Because he can like take over somebody for five seconds, but he kind of like gets knocked out while doing it. There's a girl that turns invisible, but only one person. There's a guy that's super fast, but can't have the brakes turn on. And the biggest mystery of all, apparently we had another sibling, but we forgot about it. And we did see a little bit of that in the, in, in the, I think the, kind of like a post credit scene at the ending of the last episode. That's like a very important point that to remember. We are now in Star Ocean Academy School, whatever it is, where all these kids with superpowers are kind of kept here to be maintained and monitored so that nobody is just like abusing these powers, right? So I guess the story will revolve around their main character becoming a better person. I don't know. Let's begin with this reaction, though. I don't think I've ever posed like that before, like an actual animated fucking pose. Oh, she made Benzo. She goes to like a middle school nearby and he goes to high school, right? You still... She really loves recording us, huh? Not everybody. On the cusp of both. Okay, they might. <laughs> like the fucking gulag? Wait, what happened? A certain person. Is that her sibling? The missing sibling? I don't know. I'm gonna try to make a connection to the missing sibling at every point. Anyone else? Anyone else? There's other people trying to poach these talents? Maybe there's like an evil group. Like an evil faction that's trying to get their hands on young talent and then raise them up to be villains while this is like superheroes. I don't know. But the powers goes away after you know you finish puberty though. Ooh, allowance? We get a salary maybe? This motherfucker fucking practiced this. This is not you. He got it. He's like, all right, I'm gonna come in with like a humble, nice guy, you know, persona. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> the guys are like, what the fuck? But the girls are, oh my god, he's so hot. Hello, she's in her class, yeah? Hey, Takago too. No. I wonder what she listens to. And she was the best? Every day. She just eats alone here though? <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> Eat your lunch by herself in the classroom. No. Why does she do that? I don't, we don't really know much about her. I wonder what she's about. She also like a loner? Hmm, is she like a Hachi man? Everyone else is eating here, but she's just like, nah. It's just packed. Are you gonna, gonna steal it? What's he gonna do? Super fast. <laughs> He's gonna randomly pick sandwiches and we're gonna get the shitty ones. That is so dangerous, bro! Fresh sandwich, I got two of it. Put the money there. Holy shit, the entire fucking cafeteria is gonna die, dude. It's an earthquake. <laughs> Does this happen every day? <laughs> yo, yo, your head, you're pleading. We need to work on the brake. He can't brake though. He can never brake. That's, that's the thing, right? The, the fact that his body is this durable is amazing. It's a fucking fountain. Oh, protective armor. That makes sense. He is, because if he accidentally ran into a person, wouldn't they just go fucking splat if he's going that fast? Like straight up, you're, you're like driving a car on the highway and like fucking mosquitoes, bugs, the windshield, they go fucking splat. <laughs> Breakneck movement. Yeah, you're right, because your neck's gonna be fucking broken when you use it. 
可能だと思いますかやはり不可能スピードでもいないのかあいつは生徒会長のくせに彼女の力はそれ以外の人間には見える、okay. その不完全さが今の状況を招いて Everyone else can see her She's invisible to one person and somehow this psychologically changed her to act like this What? 能力を使って彼女が暴力を振るっている姿を周りの人が見ていたら、okay. どうただの喧嘩としか映らない We're going with the analogy that if she was someone that's just picking fights like that, right? Not the invisibility one. So, because people know that she has the power of invisibility, it's kind of like. Yeah, I feel kind of betrayed, right? She fucking stalked us. She stalked us, right? I don't feel good that she fucking kept recording my life the entire time. So, if other people kind of know about her power and what she does, then they would naturally be like, ew, get away from me, kind of deal. こっちに行きますよ。何コラボレーター。生徒会室に集合ということです。え、今のでわかるのか。メシアスファック。一体何が始まるという。Why you wet? コラボレーター。なんだこいつ。The fuck? His power is 能力は念者。So、his power is he's gotta be always wet. And then when he shows up and drips the water onto a map, we can find the next person's psychic powers. So, did he just like jump into the pool and get out and walked all the way here and just dropped the water? And that's, the, that's it? That's his entire thing. Like, his entire thing is I gotta like take a shower, get, jump in the pool, and then <laughs> drop a single plate of water in the map, and then we know where the next target is. He just leaves! He just leaves! Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> If. Throughout the entire season, this character has no other dialogue other than to just have this copy, just like copy paste the scene every time. Just have him walk in, just walk in with the water, <laughs> drop, explain the power, walk out. Nothing, nothing other than that. He will be the best character. That's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> Oh shit, I forget. What was the psychic power? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I was too busy. I was too busy. Fuck, 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 fuck. He dropped the water. Psychic photography. Whatever the fuck that means. Psychic photography. So he can, like, take pictures with his mind of girls in the change room without having to have a camera? Or is his power psychic photography? Like, the wet man. I know the wet, what the wet man does, but he dropped it and he says psychic photography. So I'm going to assume the target that we're going to the school has psychic photography, right? Yeah, psychic photography. Strange pictures. Broken just. Broken to a computer, I don't know. He just waited the entire time. Alright. Protect a person with powers. <laughs> is that all that's all his pics in there, right? All the creepy pictures? Wonder what it is. Every time it just asks to you're the fucking heaven. Okay, five seconds. <laughs> yo 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 yo! He actually got hit there! You're gonna die! Like dang, he can't handle that hit, that impact, bro! Holy shit, he should have died there! Oh, X-ray vision. Well, it's not really X-ray vision. See-through vision. <laughs> This is a very weird, weird, weird angle. I think it would have been funnier if the psychic photographer didn't take pictures if it's like a girl. Because like, that's what we're asking. That's what we're expecting, right? It's like the most normal way of using your powers, right? You're going to fucking creep on a girl or some shit. Look at her fucking panties. Like classic anime high school shit. It'd be funnier though if, if I don't know, if it was something like different. I don't know. Like if some like <laughs> some old man picture. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have the powers. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you're going to be able to go with her. Okay, Udo is the name. Okay, President. 
ウドさんはもう帰られましたかアーチフリークラブ部長お先に失礼しますあ,あお疲れ Is that Udo? A secretly he has a pass on it Oh! 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 It's very like kind of in your face up front. There's like a very funny, like a comedic part about her. I'm trying to understand her, but so far everything I've seen of her, other than the point when she was eating lunch by herself. Feigning ignorance. You did? She can pick locks too? Your mom's sick? Deadbeat dad gone? Oh my no Wait, 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 wait! How does this work? Because like it's a psychic photography, so he just took a picture with his eyes. But then like the picture, the hard copy comes out of his body. So it's like a Polaroid picture, so he just has a bunch and he just takes it and it somehow gets imprinted in the Polaroid, you know, templates he has. Something else is gonna get spread. Really? Why? Yeah, you're pretty good looking. I can't tell if she's joking around or not. Is she playing with us? Or is this a genuine reaction? I don't know. That was easy. Let's take, let's take another one, bro. I'm sure you can, right? Oh my god! What? It's, no, she's not gonna get hit by That's crazy though. You're gonna try to kill her, dude. Holy fuck! No! Takago, okay, clutch. Second hand, got it, got it, got it. Oh my god. I, I would argue. Takago is a bigger threat than the arrow there. Holy shit. He got it though. The second grip got it. You know, she said something funny there. She said, You're a disgrace to all martial arts, as if she is a martial artist? What is that about? But you gotta come to our school though. <laughs> Taking loads of different girls at school to fund your mom's hospital bill. I don't know how to feel about that. Yes. I'm going to do this for a long time. Yeah, so your brother actually got dissected or what happened? Go tomorrow. Where? In the mental institute? I'm kind of scared. What if her brother is our brother? The missing sibling. Nah, it can't be. I'm, again, I'm just trying to make that connection. I'm just trying to work backwards of anyone new coming in. Potentially a missing sibling. Huh, Takako said no. Are we going to some kind of mental hospital? Like, uh, this must be some Japanese cultural thing where you buy like um, food from like a kiosk in front of like a train station. Almost like a, I don't know. Like in Korea, when you have like different bus stations, right? Not even train stations. There's like different like little, what's, what's the word? Not like a restaurant, but like fast food that you can get. That it's pretty decent. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Masaka. That is pretty rude. I don't know. I don't... Like eating like a hot meal in the fucking train or a bus. I don't know. I feel like it's... It is rude, isn't it? Like, I don't want to smell that shit. You're fucking making other people hungry. Like, keep that fucking packed in. I don't know. It's like the same... It's not the same thing. But it's like, you know motherfuckers that like listen to music on speakers in the fucking bus? It's like, what are you fucking doing? Or like, motherfuckers that's on their fucking FaceTime, dude. They're FaceTiming in a public transit. No one can fucking hear you. And she's like shouting into the phone. It's like, oh my fucking god. This is me right there. On the right, that's me right there. Just looking like, what the fuck? She got a big stomach. Okay, where are we going though? Pretty far out. She went to a prestigious middle school, huh? Almost like a child prodigy. 
<笑>受かったよマジかお前は俺と違ってすごいな兄ちゃんのバンドレコード会社に目をつけられてるって言ってたじゃん<笑>うちは貧乏だから聞いたか勉強の邪魔になるので聞いてもらいたいんだ。Wonder if she ever listened to it。ロックとか興味ないんだけどな。それ前にも豪語されたよ。意味わかんないんだけど。Yeah, who's that girl on the What happens? Oh, mom, what? 大事な話があるの。二人の才能を探索してもらうことにした。ボーディングスクール。俺もうすぐレコード会社と。Did mom sell the kids? Did mom sell the kids? Sending off to boarding school for money? That's what's going on right now? Could I at the machine is Timu Hinjan? I can't get on the Kakunano. So no hunger, Kaking at the Skarno. For the family or for you, Mom? Can all the life back at us, eh? So go me to Meritan Janakana. They are recognized. Experimentation lab, right? Where they do the dissections or something. I would say Mother Giat right now, but this is a little bit too serious. Seems like Mother did sell the kids out. What happened to Dad? This does not seem okay, though. Okay, so this is what existed before Star Ocean. What happened to Bro? The other kids would stop her? What the fuck is this? This show's getting kind of dark all of a sudden. The experimentation shit with the people with potential powers is getting fucking dark. Look at his fucking face in agony. Air vibrate at will. The air vibration sounds like a crazy mechanic, but is he still there? El Mom. El Mom, dude. All paid actors, dude. All fucking paid actors. What is she right on the wall there? I'm out. I think that's English. This is I'm out. One person I could trust. Now, come on. That's getting the good shit. Why you always cut me off when we get to that person? I'm gonna assume that this is like a mental psych ward. What the fuck? Oh, she got the fucking Hawaiian accent. Probably in like a vegetative state still, huh? This is worse than a vegetative state. What are you doing? I'm a singer. She's composing? This is the guitar of the melody. <laughs> now, this girl is so interesting to me. Because obviously she's been living this her entire life. This is a fucked up scene. But to her, it's so normalized because that's her entire life. This is just showing us how dark this show was back in the day before this Star Ocean Academy existed where people got experimented on. This is the, ex the result of it. Holy shit. Now, if her main character sees this, then he should be able to realize that, you know, maybe I should take this a little bit seriously. Because so far, I don't think he's really given a fuck. But now with this, he should turn into a better person, maybe? It's so fucked. Where the fuck is the mom? I want revenge. Yo, fuck that mom. Let's go hunt her down. It's so fucked. That one person. Who is it? For free? Who's paying over all this, bro? Who is this someone? Is this a ZN soundtrack? There's a girl singer right now. I would like to think that the song is based on what he used to write with that girl lead in the poster. Now that he doesn't have powers, it's done, right? No. I think now is right. You should show some respect. This fucking episode. Gotten so real out of nowhere. Like last episode was just like fun, goofy fun, just hilarious, this dumb shit happening. This episode's like, this is what happens when humans experiment on 
teenagers and turn into a vegetative state. It's like, what the fuck? Are we going to have more dark tones like this in the future episodes? Is that why everyone's like, episode 7, bro? Charlotte, episode 7, bro. I'm like, what's going to happen in episode 7? I don't know how to feel about that. He's just trying to be nice to her, right? But she's like, nah, don't try to act nice. Don't try to, just because I showed you my fucking vegetative brother, you think you're going to start acting nice now? But I feel like maybe now herself is like hiding some kind of pain with this face that she's all okay, but deep inside, how is she really? There's got to be a moment where she breaks down and the real feelings underneath that she's been holding locked in comes out, right? And does that have to do with his development in the future? I don't know. Tadaima. Hello. Vegetable curry. Oh, that's different. That's different. What? What? Yeah, it could be the same scenario. Stop it! <laughs> it doesn't matter what meal she makes, as long as the base is with that fucking pizza sauce, everything's gonna taste the same. She really loves stars in that telescope, man. And the opening also has such an emphasis. Space. A long period comments? Well, that's a big deal. And that's the episode. Today's episode was fucked. I thought we we're gonna have happy, fun time episodes. But like, this is like depression. This is like reality is setting in, right? Her, her brother was sold off by mom. So I guess the government agency or whatever scientist kind of offered a great sum of money for her to sell the kids off to this research lab. And she has... Guilt? Yeah, absolutely, she does have guilt. I was gonna say she has no guilt, but she basically got on all fours because like, I'm sorry, I'm such I'm such a fucking deadbeat mom. Where's the dad in this scenario? Who fucking knows? But she sold him out. And he turned into this crazy person because of all the fucking experiments, man. And maybe this episode is to kind of tell us the tone of the show, but to also make, you know, you, our main character, get a little bit more serious about this. Because so far, he's... I mean, from episode one, he's been a piece of shit, right? So he has to get better somehow if we're going to have some kind of character development. So this is the first steps to kind of let him understand, like, this is the world that you live in. Other people have suffered this kind of fate. And you got a fucking lucky by being here. So you're going to help me, you know, prevent more issues like this or not. So I guess that's the theme of this episode. Hopefully it doesn't get more dark, but like, maybe in the future it's going to get even more fucked up. I don't know. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist here for more content. And until next time, take care.